Hey guys, what is going on? This is Zip of HQuit TV casting the Zotac Cup number three. We have Evil Geniuses Idris spawning as the Green Zerg and Rev Rain spawning as the Orange Protoss. Why is this guy orange if his name is Rain? I have no clue. It should be blue, maybe teal if you want to be like ice, but I would say blue would be the color of this guy, but no, he chooses orange. Out of all the colors, like, you know what? I'm going to have a name called Rain, and I'm going to be orange, but who knows what will happen. This is a Master League Protoss, and Idra, you know, he's possibly the best Zerg around. So, we'll see what he does come up with. Rain looks like he is going to be doing some type of forge opener. Placing the pylon down here, he could get a gateway and just try to uh, go for a quick expansion, but generally when the pylon goes down here, on Shakur's Plateau, it is going to be a forge, and they're going to try to do some type of cheesy cannon rush. Actually, not too cheesy. Just kind of a build a cannon there, kind of delay the Zerg from going to them. Say, hey, if you want to expand, you have to deal with a cannon. And then you have to deal with the cannon in my base. How's that, Andrain? He is at 12 supply right now. No probe is going down just yet. There he goes. The probe is going to be on his way. And that is going to be hitting just around 150 minerals, and it is a forge first. And Idra, what is he going to be doing? He is still just joining up. He is at 15 food right now. And he must know that something is going on because, well, that probe gets in his base. Decides to take a gas, oh, not a gas, a pool right at 15. He may go into roaches after this. Quick roaches are pretty good against any type of cannon opener. Those lings, well, they just don't do too well. The wall gets up and the lings can't do anything because all these buildings in the front have such high HP and those lings can't even get to those cannons. The roaches, through some magical overlord placement, sometimes you can pick off a building or two. Like the cannons right here, place the overlord right here. This forge can go down. And there we go, that overlord from Idra, he does know exactly where Rain is in that drone. I mean, the probe is going to be placing a pylon right there on that high ground. Idra taking his expansion right after this pool, not going for any gas. And oh my god, that probe is trapped right now and almost goes down. Idra trying to lay the beat, but uh, well, Rain does do a mineral walk right through those drones. I thought Blizz was patching that. They said that was patched, but no. It still works. I remember it distinctly in a patch, and it like fixed a bug where workers can walk through enemy units. But no, they do it all the time. And there goes the first cannon with a pylon. The lings are coming out for Idra, though. And this is, again, not going to be a roach open. It looks like he just went for a pool expansion. This pylon will go down very quickly. There goes his extractor. And the overlord here does see Rain is taking his expansion. This cannon is going down, so it doesn't get up. Idra has an answer to these uh, cannon rushes from Protoss. Getting those lings out seems to work very well. And uh -oh, Rain is kind of in panic mode. He knows those lings are going to be heading towards his base. His wall is not up yet, but he does have the money to finish that, I believe. Those lings are about halfway across the map, running side by side. Four lings going to be coming very close. This probe is maybe just going to fill the wall. May not want to completely wall it in, but he'll probably throw down a pylon. So he is, but he doesn't have the minerals right now. And maybe that is a complete wall. Is that a complete wall? It doesn't look like it would be, but hey, it could be. Walls are funky sometimes. Now Idra does see that. He is just going to be falling back. Knows about the pylon in his base, so he is going to be taking that out while he gets some roaches up. And again, as I said, roaches deal with cannons fairly well. Right now, they could pick off the units right here. If there's any type of zealot wall, well, that roach can pick that off. And there's a cybernetic score going up. And this may not be where you want to place it, because as I said, roaches. Do uh, like sniping those buildings on that cliff. We'll see if Idra does take advantage of that. Even using the queen down here, going to take out this pylon. Hasn't vomited just yet on that hatchery, this queen. Well, maybe she has. Did she lay a creep tumor? Uh, no, that's the queen that came from up here. Did migrate down to this base, I believe, and another queen popped out here. So that's how the energy works out for Idra's queens right now. And that Roach one, now just completed, but he's 31 of 39 out of 42, but soon as a... Uh, his Roach one finishes, uh, the Overlord pops out, so this looks like it's very, very well timed for Idra. Where's this Overlord? Maybe trying to get into position. I would love to see the Overlord just right here, but there is a Sentry coming out. So, uh, maybe it's not too smart to move that. Looks like the timing is, uh, just a little bit slow for Idra, but, well, it may just be impossible to get the Roaches there when you're trying to do this expansion. And here we go. Those Roaches are making their way across the map. That is a lot of Roaches. For right now, what Rev Rain it has is nothing. Doesn't have any army whatsoever. Those roaches could easily pick off this cannon, I believe. This sentry may be going to town on this overlord. When the roaches come up, so this force fields won't even be able to be laid. All the roaches will get up close and personal to this wall, possibly, and take out that cannon. 
We do have a Lobo facility and two more gateways coming out from lane. And here we go. There's Lingzo coming up. This actually does get a force field off. There's Roach is going to try to pick off this pylon. This pylon is going to go down. This cannon is trying to do what it can, but that's just a lot from Idra right now. And now there's Roach is going to be tugging this cannon. Two more cannons have been built for lane. And I don't know if he's going to be able to hold this. He has supply capped right now. That century cannot come out. No more units. Only can build cannons. These two cannons are being built. But they're being powered by this pylon. Another pylon being uh, warped. And I think that is powering both of these. And here we go. This pylon is going to go down right when these uh, cannons come out. But there is, again, another pylon. Pretty well timed. But that's a lot of roaches. Those roaches are just going to be like, oh, LOL cannons. And these cannons are going to go down from lane. And I don't see anything he can possibly do. He has these two gateways up here. This subnet core is powered down. That wolf gate research will not finish. Sentry is going to come out, and those roaches will be go. Like, oh, LOL, Sentry. GG from lane. Idra going to be advancing into round number three.